strings only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Well, that was a clip from Star Wars, The Last Jedi, which lands in theaters tonight. The Star Wars franchise has been known for merchandising, and The Last Jedi, no exception. Brooklyn-based Ample Hills Creamery has an exclusive deal to create new ice cream flavors based on the movie. Joining us right now is Ample Hills Creamery founder and CEO, Brian Smith, along with Mike Murphy, joining the conversation. Great to see you. Thank you for having what us. What a great gig to be able to make ice cream based on Star Wars. Oh is, is there any better? No. <laughs> it's the thrill of a lifetime, I swear to God. I was seven when Star Wars came out, and this has literally been the thrill of my adult life to be able to produce Star Wars ice How'd cream. How did you secure this contract to Star well, Wars? Well, I, I mean, it's a crazy story, but we, we opened uh, six years ago, and maybe three years ago, we started shipping ice cream around the country, and one of the first people to order the ice cream was Bob Iger, CEO of Disney. And we saw his name come up on the order form and we're like, really? And, and we shipped him ice cream and about three days later he emailed me and he just said, hey, I love your ice cream, it's amazing. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. And Bob. And so it was just one of those sort of moments that dropped out of the universe. He's become a mentor and a friend. And so I pitched him the idea of why don't we do Star Wars ice cream? And so it's, it's led to a number of opportunities. We have a shop down in Orlando at Disney's Boardwalk now. So it's, it's been a, an incredible uh, relationship that's really opened a lot of doors, that as you can fantastic. imagine. That is fantastic. Another small company that you've seen growth in, Mike Murphy. We, we've been able to see growth. Yeah, we, we were fortunate to lead the Series A round for Brian and Ample Hills um, to fuel their growth. I, I think the upside for Ample Hills is a lot more than where they are now. I think this will be a national brand. And I think what you're looking at right here, Maria, is the next Ben & Jerry's. Wow. Well, listen, um, there's ice cream on the set. and I. I don't want it to melt or anything. No, <laughs> please. Eat, there's, there's, a, sure. there's a gallon of ice cream here. <laughs> you brought some Absolutely. flavors here. The first one is the first order. Yep. Tell us about the first order. First order is uh, monolithic evil, right? It's the purity of evil uh, on the uh, dark side there. So it's a pure, salted, dark, dark, dark chocolate ice cream. And uh, so we, we just really wanted to get at that purity uh, of evil. And with all of these flavors, the real goal was to, in a small way, try to tell stories around that star. Wars universe. We, we really think of licensing as an opportunity to, to go outside of the box and not just slap a logo on something yeah. and sell a product, but to, to really be inventive and creative with the stories we tell with the Which flavors. Which one is the resistance? Resistance here is um, our, our flavor that is a brown sugar ice cream. Mm. And it's That's got, what you're eating, I think. Yes, and so there's a whole I, bunch I of different three, ones. Yeah, they're all together. Uh, okay, <laughs> here we sort of together. created okay, a, a beautiful mound of them, but uh, resistance has got a hodgepodge, a motley crew of, uh, of things in it, red velvet, ooey, gooey cake, and toffee, and marshmallows. Oh, the wow. idea there, of course, is that the resistance is, um, you know, the good guys have got a lot of different alien species and cultures that are all fighting for the resistance, and that's the flip side of the uh, the first order. And the, which, which one is the force? And the force is a sweet cream ice cream. This is that's that one, That's this light one here. Oh, the light uh, one, yep. okay. And, and what that is, is my is, favorite. Yeah, and the force is, of course, the light side and the dark side, the balance of the force, the sort of competing forces. So there's swirls of dark chocolate to represent the dark side within the light side, and then little white and dark chocolate pearls that sort of represent all of that. So is there anything in this ice cream that you want to tell us about? I mean, obviously you, you're marketing this yeah. as Star Wars ice cream. What's in the actual ice cream? Yeah, so I mean, there's all, we make everything from scratch. So all those little pieces of the red velvet ooey gooey cake and the resistance, the toffee pieces. Um, so we, we make those products from scratch in our wow. Brooklyn factory. And, uh, you know, so I think that's what differentiates us as an ice cream company is that we're making all that stuff that is goes that into the Is that why you invested in it? it? It is. You know, I think, Brian, if as he can tell, is kind of do doing it a little bit different. You know, he's doing it where the, the trend for everything out there is healthy eating. Brian's saying, look, this is all natural. This is ice cream. But he's doing it in a way that's never been done before. So I think there's huge growth. I like it. It's yeah. really good. Brian, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you Thanks so much. Good luck Thanks to you. Right. Brian Thanks Smith there.